Ah, a refreshing cup of water. Ah, oh no, water spilled on the floor. I need paper towels. Uh-oh. There's no more paper towels. Let's go ask Mommy. Mommy, I ran out of paper towels. Do you have any more? Uh, Ryan, Ryan, I have so many. Is this what you need? Yeah. But Mommy, which one is the most absorbent? <gasps> Good question, Ryan. Let's clean up that mess over there and do an experiment to find out. Welcome to Ryan's world. So we're gonna test out all of these different brand paper towels and we're gonna see which one's the most strong and most absorbent. We got this Target brand here that says make a size. It says strong and absorbent. The Bounty brand, it also says the quicker picker upper, so it's supposed to be really quick. And this is a Recycle brand, and also it says strong and absorbent. And a Bronte brand that also says the strength to take on tough greases. Out of all of these, which one, Ryan, do you think is the most strong and most absorbent? This one or this one? Oh really, the Bounty or the Bronte? All right, let's test it out. Yeah. So now we took out the wrapper and we labeled them. So first, we have the up and up. And look, it looks a little bit different because like the lines and how it looks. And we got the one that I think is gonna win too, the Bounty. We have the Recycle one. And look, it looks a little bit different than the others. It's darker. And we got the brawny one. First, I'm gonna test which paper towel is more absorbent? So first I'm gonna use purple. We can see better. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Agitate. Agitate. So I'm gonna put the same amount of water on the table and don't forget to ask a grown-up for help. Ryan has a grown-up. Hi. <laughs> Do four different spots to test out four different paper towel brands. Mm -hmm. Three. Four. Oh, whoa. <laughs> now I'm gonna put each brand of paper towel on each spot. This is the recycling. This is the up and up. This is Bounty. And this is Brawny. We're gonna wait 60 seconds and we're gonna see which one absorbs the best. It's been 60 seconds. Let's see how they do. Whoa! This one is the Bronte, so that one did pretty good. Yeah, it took away almost all of it. Okay, this one is the Bounty one. Whoa, this one's pretty good too. Oh, I think this one is better. This one? Yeah. You can see a little bit of wetness left, but this one is pretty much almost gone. So, so far, Bounty, that one is a Target brand. Well, this one's pretty good too. Oh yeah, but it still leave a little bit of wet spots here. Yeah, so Bounty is winning. And this one is the Recycle one. Oh, it's a little bit wet still. Oh yeah, the Recycle one still left a lot of wetness. Out of all the four brands of paper towel, which one did you think, Ryan, is the most absorbent? Bounty. Bounty is the winner for round one. It has a big bounty. Next, we're gonna test out which paper towel is the strongest. So first, we're gonna put Bronte on here, and then we're going to clip it. Other side. Next, we're gonna put on the cup, and then we're gonna put on weights, and we're gonna see how much weight it takes to break the towel. First, let's put the 10 weight. Okay, nothing happened. Then, what about we put the 20 weight, and then we're gonna put Another 21, and then 50. Ooh, so far so good. And then 100. Now we're gonna put another 100. Okay. Still good? And then the 200. Oh, we're gonna have 500. Oh, I 
think we have to put the 500 on. Oh! It's still still. <laughs> Ding. Look guys, the paper towel broke and it took 1,000 grams to break the paper towel. Now let's do the other one. This is the recycle one. So first we're gonna make 10 and then 20. And another 20. Okay, 50. 100. Another 100. 200. Whoa. Let's put another 200. Whoa, it broke. The recycle one broke at 700 grams. Now let's do the next one. This one is the target up and up. Now let's put the weight. 10, 20, another 20, 50, 100, another 100, 200, okay. And then let's put another 100. What about another 100? Whoa, this one's strong. 200? Whoa. 200? What? Okay, I'm just gonna use all of these weights. And see when it breaks. What? This is really strong. Wow, Target up and up. This is strong. Oh, it's broke. Whoa. Okay. Oh. We're gonna count all the weights. Look how much is left. Oh. This is a lot of weights. So we're gonna take them out and we're gonna count them. So, this one broke, but it's the strongest because it has 1,400 grams. It's so strong. I didn't know Target up and up was so strong. Okay guys, we're gonna tackle the last one. Let's see how it does. Bounty, are you up for it? Last one, Bounty. Yeah, earlier we tested that the Bounty one was the most absorbent, mm. but can it be the most strong? We will find out. Okay, 10, 20, another 20, 50, this is 100, 100, 200, 200, Whoa. 200. You're doing great, Bounty. Wait, I'm hearing something. Do you hear the, the rip? Yeah. Okay, 100, 100. This is more than one pound. It broke. <laughs> okay, we're gonna test to see how much Ryan put in. We're gonna take it out and count them. Okay. Okay, Ryan's counting right now. This is 1,300. Wow, that's still pretty strong. Yeah. But it did not beat the target up and up at strong. Yeah, it's 100 less. My experiment, Bounty was the most absorbent. Absorb! And the target up and up was the strongest. Pow, pow, pow. Whoa. So it'd be fun if you guys also test out different brands to see if Ryan was right and to see if any other brand beats the Bounty or any other brand that is stronger than the target up and up. Let us know. For now, thank you for watching. Bye. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye.